In this video we will discuss on anatomy of cervical plexus. For better understanding please watch the introductory video on spinal nerves before proceeding further. As discussed earlier, the cervical plexus is formed from the ventral rami of the upper four cervical spinal nerves. It supplies skin and muscles of the neck and the diaphragm. Each ventral ramus divides into upper and lower branches. The first cervical ventral rami do not divide. The C1 nerve joins with the upper branch of C2. The adjacent lower and upper branches of ventral rami join with one another to form nerve loops. The lower branch of C4 joins with C5 of brachial plexus. The cervical plexus lies beneath the prevertebral fascia on the scalenus medius and levator scapulae muscles. It lies deep to sternocleidomastoid muscle. Now let's discuss the branches of cervical plexus. It can be divided into superficial and deep branches. The superficial are sensory branches and the deep are muscular branches. There are four sensory branches. The sensory branches pass posteriorly in the neck. Three branches arise from the loop of C2 and C3. They are lesser occipital nerve, great auricular nerve, and transverse cervical nerve. The fourth sensory nerve arise from the loop of C3 and C4. It is named as supraclavicular nerve. Now let's discuss about the deep or muscular branches of cervical plexus. As opposite to sensory branches, the muscular branches pass anteriorly in the neck. The motor branches of cervical plexus are ansa cervicalis, phrenic nerve, and other muscular branches to prevertebral, levator scapulae, and sternocleidomastoid muscles. Now let's discuss ansa cervicalis. A branch from the loop between C1 and C2, carrying C1 nerve fibers, joins the hypoglossal nerve, after a short course it leaves the hypoglossal nerve, as superior root of ansa cervicalis. It should be noted that the C1 nerve fibers to thyrohyoid and geniohyoid are carried by the hypoglossal nerve. Inferior root of ansa cervicalis is derived from ventral rami of C2 and C3. It runs anteriorly to join the superior root of ansa cervicalis. Branches of ansa cervicalis are branched to superior belly of omohyoid, branched to sternohyoid, branch to sternothyroid, and branch to inferior belly of omohyoid. The ansa cervicalis lies in the carotid triangle, and it is superficial to carotid sheath. It should be noted that all the infrahyoid or strap muscles are innervated by ansa cervicalis, except thyrohyoid. Thyrohyoid is supplied by ventral rami of C1 through the hypoglossal nerve. Now let's discuss the phrenic nerve. Phrenic nerve originates from the ventral rami of C3, C4, and C5. The main contribution of phrenic nerve is from C4 nerve fibers. It carries both motor and sensory supply to diaphragm. In the neck the phrenic nerve lies on the anterior surface of the scalenus anterior muscle. It passes anterior to the subclavian artery and posterior to the subclavian vein. The nerve enters the thorax after crossing the internal thoracic artery from lateral to medial side. Then it travels downwards, it passes in front of the lung hilum. It lies between the fibrous pericardium and mediastinal pleura. Then it pierces the diaphragm and supplies it. In the thorax, the right phrenic nerve passes downward along the right side of superior vena cava, right atrium, and terminal part of inferior vena cava. The left phrenic nerve in thorax lies lateral to arch of aorta, left ventricle. The phrenic nerve is separated from the above structures by the fibrous pericardium. This completes the cervical plexus. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Let's discuss the brachial plexus in the next video.